Right, we are looking at English. I want us to quickly look at comprehension landmarks. Comprehension landmarks. Please listen careful. Is uh, I'm going to read, but it's not that long. Landmarks. Then after that, you answer a uh, comprehension question. Zimbabwe has many landmarks spread across the country. A landmark is a building, object, or place that you can easily recognize. The Beach Enough Bridge is one of Zimbabwe's landmarks. Beach Enough Bridge is situated in Southeast Zimbabwe across the Save River. The Save River has its source in Zimbabwe and flows through Mozambique to the Indian Ocean. The Save River is Zimbabwe's second largest river after the mighty Zambezi. The Zambezi forms the country's northern border with the Zambia. Before it passes the Beach Enough Bridge, the Save River is fed by its main tributary, the Ozi River. Another tributary, the Runde River, flows into the Save River downstream. Long after it has passed the Beach Nav Bridge, Beach Nav Bridge is on the main highway that links the cities of Maswingo and Mutare. The bridge was built by a man called Domen Long. It was completed in 1935. The whole bridge is suspended or is hanging on cave massive steel frames. The curved metal frames give it the gray rainbow shape that is visible from a distance of 10 kilometers. The beach enough is the only bridge with no support on the bottom. All right. The bridge got its name from Sir Henry Beechnaf. He was the chairman of the Bite Trust, which paid for the building of the bridge. The ashes of Sir Henry Beechnaf and his wife, Maple, are buried beneath the structure of the bridge. The structure of the Beechnaf Bridge has often appeared on Zimbabwean coins and postage stamps. This shows that the bridge is indeed a landmark in the country. Let us look at Beach Nuff Bridge. There it is. Beach Nuff Bridge. There is Beach Nuff Bridge. It was named after who, by the way? Beach Nuff Bridge? Brave, it was named after? Mm, All right, Brave, please. May you listen and answer the question. You are not paying attention. That is not what I asked. Yes, boy, to Melo. Then Harry Beach Trap. Yes, it was named after Sir Henry Beach Nuff. Yes, he was the chairman of which trust? Sir Henry Beach Nuff was the chairman of which trust? Which trust, Nicholas? Nicholas? Which trust? Right, he was chairman of Bite Trust. Bite Trust. Right, we talked about landmark. What is a landmark? What did I say a landmark is? Ayanda, what is a landmark? Ayanda. 
What is the landmark? Ayanda. Tadiwa, what is the landmark? Marisa. Tadiwa, Tadiwa, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. What is the landmark? I cannot hear you, teacher. You can, you can, because now you are talking to me. You can. What is the landmark, Marisa? Tadiwa, what is the landmark? Bethel, what is the landmark? Bethel. Uh, yes, boy, two melo. It is a building and object. Where is Beach Enough Bridge? It's on which river? Beach Enough? Where is Beach Enough? It is on which river? Yes, boy, two melo. River, which river? It is built on which river? I was reading and I hope you were listening. Yeah? Save river, save. Save. Please, when I'm teaching, listen. Pichina Bridge is across the save river which is it, it is situated in southeast of zimbabwe that is the beach Nav bridge what is a tributary we talked of a tributary what is a tributary tributary What is a tributary? I talked about a tributary here. Let's admit Ashanti. Right. Uh, before it passes the the beach in a bridge, the Save River is fed by its main tributary, the Otzi River. Another tributary, the Runde River, flows into the Save River downstream. Long after it has passed the beach in a bridge. So what is a tributary? <coughs> Yes, Bethel, what is a tributary? A tributary is a river that flows into a lake. <laughs> Very good, you are trying. It is a smaller river that flows into a bigger river. Very good. That is a tributary. Who built Beach Enough Bridge? Marisa, can you hear me? Tadiwa? Yes, sir. So who built it? Marisa, who built Beach Enough Bridge? Mm -hmm. Marisa, can you hear me? Tatiwa. Yes, teacher. So answer me. Why are you keeping quiet? 
Nicholas, who built the best Vishnu fridge? Nicholas. Vishnu fridge is on the main highway that links the cities of Maswingo and Mutare. The bridge was built by a man called Domen Long. It was completed in 1935. The whole bridge is a suspended or is hanging on curved massive steel frames. Who built Vichina Fridge? Domen. Yes, Domen who? Ashanti? Long. Domen Long. Yes, yes, very good. A man called Domen Long. <coughs> Excuse me, in which year? Ayanda, in which year was it built? Ayanda? Which year, Ayanda? Tadiwa, in which year? Marisa? Yes, teacher. When was it built? It was built in which year? Yes, teacher. Which year? In, in, um, yes, it's here. Nineteen Very good. Tadiwa, in which year? Yeah. What did Brave say, Tadiwa? In 1985. 30, 85, 3, 5, 1935. In which year, Tadiwa? 1935. Yes, it was built in 1935. Right, how many landmarks does Zimbabwe have? Zimbabwe, how many landmarks are there in Zimbabwe? How many? Yes, Ashanti. Tawana. There are many landmarks. Many, many, very good. You cannot count them. There are many land, landmarks. Right. Whose ashes are buried be, beneath the bridge? Whose ashes? There are ashes that are buried beneath the bridge. Whose ashes are those? Whose ashes? Don't you remember? The bridge got its name from Sir Henry Bichnaf. He was the chairman of the Bite Trust, which paid for the building of the bridge. The ashes of Sir Henry Bichnaf and his wife, Mabel are buried between the structure of the bridge. Uriel, whose ashes are buried between the, beneath the structure of the bridge. Uriel, whose ashes? Men and the wife. <laughs> yes. The Sir Henry and his wife. What was his what was the name of his wife? Tadiwa. What was the name of uh, Sir Henry Pichinaf's wife? Marisa. Yes, 
Ya. Yeah. What was her name? Tadiwa. But I just read, isn't it? Yes, Tawana. Her name was Mapo. Very good. The wife of Sir Henry Pichnav was Mabel. Mabel was the name of his wife. All right. Uh, our lesson is going to end now. I'm going to send to you the passage. I send both the passage and multiple choice questions. Please write in full. I don't want to see answers written number 1A, number 2B, no, 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 no. Go to number one, write the full sentence. Number two, the full sentence, and so on and so forth. <laughs> write the full sentence. All right. Okay, do we understand each other? Yes, it's a... Yes, let's miss me yes, tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Yes, let's miss yes. tomorrow. Hopefully, the network will have improved. Ah, we're starting. It's a bye now.